not following Islam? Are you king? I'm saying not pa Pakistan, we have 90% Muslim. Muslim huh? means follow Islam. But Muslim, what Muslim? What Muslim? I remember 15 years ago, 15 years ago, it's not today and I heard it's worse, 15 years ago I remember going to a wedding in Pakistan. A wedding where men and women were mixing freely. Where the bride was dancing on the stage with all the male members of the family dancing on the stage. I'm sure somewhere around, we probably hidden in a corner then, but I hear now it's open drinking alcohol. What Muslim? Are we talking about? This was 15 years ago. Now I hear it's even worse. Oh yes, their Islam. When they, the bride and the groom are walking to the car, they're holding the Qur'an over their head for blessing. That Islam? That's not Islam. What Islam is that? That's exactly the thing I'm talking about. That's why the Muslims are in such a mess. Because of this nonsense, this hypocrisy, this... Actually, they are insulting the Qur'an by doing that. They're in, amongst all of this haram, they think that the Qur'an holding it over their head is going to bless them because they're holding it. What, what is that? Where did they get this from? So, I don't know what we're talking about. In fact, this is the problem. You see, the Muslim world itself is so far from Islam. So many you find here in India. Oh, I know it's not a Muslim country, but there are lots of Muslims here. But I don't know what sort of Muslim. Most of them go to the Darga and they call upon some dead person in the grave. And they think that by talking to a dead person, they're going to have their needs fulfilled. What's the difference between that and worshipping an idol? There's no difference, believe me. It's shirk. I've seen it myself with my own eyes. I'm praying in the masjid. The adhan goes. The people are praying in the masjid. And the people in the darga are not coming to the mosque to pray. They're still going around the darga and making all their whatever the things they do. What's that? That's not Islam. You go to many countries. You find... Pakistan, you want to see Islam in Pakistan. You know in England, in every street corner we have a pub. You know what's a pub? You know what's a pub? Like a bar, you know a place where you sit and drink alcohol. Yeah? Yes? In Pakistan, believe me, they have something worse than that. Yes, worse. On every street they have a picture of a palm. Everywhere you see it, hanging from the windows. They have the picture of a palm. What's that advertising? Something worse than drinking alcohol. An invitation to disbelieve in Allah. That they're going to read your hand and tell your fortune. Shirk. It's shirk. Whoever believed, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever visits a fortune teller out of curiosity, Allah will not accept their prayers for 40 days. Whoever believes in the fortune teller has disbelieved in Allah and His Messenger. That includes, by the way, horoscopes. Yet in, in, you see in Pakistan, a picture everywhere of a hand. Worse than a pub. Worse than a pub. It is better to drink alcohol than make shirk with Allah. Yes. So this is the Muslim countries. You will not find one except they are not doing magic and shirk and kufr. Well, except maybe one or two, you will find. So this is the state of the Muslims. So no wonder we're in the confusion and the chaos. So these are not good examples. And this is really, in fact, the very reason that I'm saying why we are in such a big mess. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Those of you who have seen this video, I know that many people can be able to say that some people in the comments have also given this idea that this is Abdul Rahim Green and this is the first site that the Muslims have been able to say that it's been 30 years ago to say that it's been 30 years ago. But I'll try to say that 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 I'll try to say او پشتو میں ایک کہاوت ہے کہتے ہیں کہ جو نشان ہوتے ہیں اس کو درمیانی حصہ جو ہے اس نے مارا ہے تو جو بھی بات ہے اس نے کیا اللہ کی قسم اس سب حقیقت ہے ہمیں ایسا عالم یا ایسا مولی بہت پسند آتا ہے کہ 
وہ کہے کہ بس ایک سبحان اللہ کو اور تم جنتی ہو اور بس نرم نرم باتیں کرتا ہو لیکن اگر کوئی سخت بات کرے تو وہ ہمیں بہت زیادہ بری لگتی ہے اور ہمیں چاہیے کہ ان چیزوں کو ہم اپنے آپ سے نکالو اور الحمد ابھی تو سوشل میڈیا کے ذریعے کافی زیادہ علم لوگوں کو لوگوں کے پاس آ رہے ہیں لیکن پھر بھی یہ جہالت ہماری دنیا بھر میں ہے اور خاص کر یہ یہ پالی والا جو ہے جو ہاتھ دے کر بتاتے اور یہ تعویذ وغیرہ بھی کرتے میرے خود اپنے کچھ دوست ہیں وہ ایک لڑکی کے خاطر وہ اس طرح تعویذ بناتے تھے اور اس طرح ایک پالی سے تو یہ سب گنا اور یہ سب چیزیں ہمارے معاشرے میں اب بھی موجود ہیں اور ہمارے ملک کے لیے ہمارے معاشرے کے لیے ہم سب کے لیے شرم کا مقام ہے کہ ایک شخص جو کہ پہلے عیسائی تھا اور بعد میں مسلمان ہوا ہے وہ ہمیں صحیح اسلام سکھا رہا ہے اور ہم جو خود مسلمان پیدا ہوئے ہیں اپنے اس مذہب میں پیدا ہوئے ہیں اور بچپن سے بلے پڑے ہمارے بہت سارے لوگ ایسے ہوں گے جو ساٹھ ستر اسی سال کے بابے ہوتے ہیں اور اس اسلام میں انہوں نے زندگی گزاری ہوتی لیکن اس کے باوجود ان کو یہ علم ان کو اسلام کے بارے میں کوئی علم نہیں ہوتا تو بہت زیادہ پسند آئی مجھے یہ ویڈیو اس لیے یہ آپ لوگوں کو بھی دکھائی امید کرتا ہوں جو سچ پسند کرنے والے لوگ ہیں ان کو یہ ویڈیو ضرور پسند آئی ہوگی اس کے بارے میں آپ کیا سمجھتے ہو کمنٹ ضرور کریں السلام